next team up is Team Grenade. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Kia. I'll just introduce my team. So this is Tomer Garsberg, Dimmerglut, and Tobias Manhart. And Thomas did not want to participate, obviously. <laughs> so if you look at waste, food wastage, it is food wastage happens end to end at all stages of the logistic supply chain. Out of every three bags of perishables, one goes to landfill. Now, globally, that's a $1 trillion problem. In six hours, Team Grenade built a prototype which conclusively demonstrates that this epic level problem can be solved with off-the-shelf internet-connected technology. Savers is a platform which recognizes produce at retail point of sale, and it also, uh, it also tracks the movement of stock through online and in-store sales channels. We use a freshness dynamic pricing algorithm, it's a tongue twister, <laughs> but basically what that does is that it serves a greater discount the closer produce approaches expiry. What this does is that it helps a retail store employee to very easily list items by visual recognition and allows people like you and I to access a front-end platform to potentially purchase food that would otherwise go to wastage. So just to explain the technology, we used a Wi-Fi dongle, a Raspberry Pi, a USB scale, uh, which we shipped from America on Tuesday <laughs> using Amazon. <laughs> and we also used a web camera using the Google Vision API. So we did prepare a video demonstration. However, we did have to improvise. <laughs> so as you can see here, the camera, which is connected to the Google Vision API, uh, it recognizes the fruit and it also captures the weight. This dynamically, without us having to press, press push, goes to our front end uh, platform, which you could access now if you wanted, and you would see that, there, that the uh, camera has uh, identified the type of produce and the weight. Now, obviously, we have a very MVP um, approach to this. Uh, if we were working with, say, Woolworths or Coles, obviously, we could integrate what price, price points are for that type of produce. In terms of this solution, um, this definitely has additional benefits in terms of its flexibility. Product recognition is huge. and. Recently, there's been a lot of talk about um, shrinkage, retail shrinkage, which is a huge problem to retail supermarkets. Um, in fact, that's worth $7.5 billion locally here in Australia yearly. So essentially, this type of application could assist on self-serve checkouts um, instead of people having to individually select what type of produce they have, um, you know, Instead of saying, I have an avocado, I might say I have a brown onion. <laughs> to get, you know, I wouldn't do that. But anyway, but this type of, <laughs> this type of, um, I guess, solution is applicable in all different areas of, I guess, uh, food supply chain. Oh, and there we go. Thank you. <laughs> So just to summarise the problem that you're solving here, I just want to unpack that a little bit. And I know you're nervous and it's really hard to stand up on the stage. Trust me, I know. Um, so the, the food goes through, it's, it's like take the banana, it's going through a ripening phase. So you're reducing the price of the food, is that what you're saying? Yes. And then selling it on to... Yeah, so a big part of um, what this technology relies upon is the data that the supermarkets have and have access to and have access to for a really long time. So the ripening process, um, I mean, let's take a carton of apples, for example, that's injected with a gas, right? So it's not really until it leaves that environment that it starts actually its expiration process. Yeah. Um, so does that... It does make question? sense. Yeah. So who would you sell it to at that point? So that's this is a solution for supermarkets and retailers, yeah. um, but 
They, they are obviously the people purchasing, but the benefits follow on to the consumer. Consumer, okay, yeah. excellent, I understand. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah, I was glad you said that it, you thought there had applicability in self-serve checkouts. Yes. Um, so do you think this is a replacement system for self-serve checkouts, or is, is it isn't a... I don't think it's a replacement. Um, I don't think it's a replacement. Uh, the team and I really did some really good use cases and business cases around pricing yeah. models and integration. So the technology, I mean, we spent about $150 on plug and play uh, bits of technology. Yeah. Um, and then we were able to really understand the scalability of that and reduce the cost. Yeah. And the cost is even reduced further mm -hmm. when it's integrated to pre-existing checkouts. Yep. Um, okay. So, does that answer the question? Yep. Thanks. No worries. Thank you very much.